Journalism professor Jay Rosen uh, tweeted tonight, the both sides ritual remains because it delivers on goods other than journalism. It feels like the safe option. Down the middle, it protects against criticism. It's easy to operate. When you don't know much about the underlying conflict, get both sides and you're halfway there. Uh, Stuart Stevens, a uh, part of your work used to involve, as I have to say mine did in the United States Senate to some extent, uh, trying to manipulate reporters into covering something the way you want it covered. And it seems like that uh, both sides approach is an advantage uh, when trying to manipulate reporters. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, look, Donald Trump has always benefited from the inability to imagine Donald Trump. It was unimaginable that a man who talked in the public about having sex with his daughter would be the Republican nominee for president <laughs> or that he would win. So it, it was unimaginable, even to me, that Republican senators and elected officials would not concede an election that wasn't even close, north of 300 votes, 8 million more votes, uh, 300 electoral votes. Um, but that's what's happened. And it, it is autocracies win when we can't imagine democracy losing. And that is the greatest challenge, I think. I think to a certain degree, we're sort of sleepwalking through this moment. And inflation is a problem, but the history of those that placed inflation over democracy is not particularly great. You don't have to look any further than 1930s Germany. And I'm afraid that that's a terrible mistake that this country is making and have to, have to do everything we can to sound the alarm.